An often overlooked aspect of Wabi Sabi is how important the role of shadows are. The Wabi Sabi characteristics of asymmetry, roughness, simplicity, and emptiness all thrive with a balance of light and dark. If you're drawn to a wabi-sabi natural aesthetic or shizen style, then I want you to start paying attention to the over-illumination that we tend to do and start to notice and appreciate the shadows more. You can see its importance in Japanese gardens, especially Roji tea gardens, where moss plays a big role in showing age. But it's the shadows that create the mood and atmosphere that lead to mystery and intrigue. In architecture and interior design, the real power of natural lighting comes from allowing the shadows in. This is highlighted in the simplicity of a Japanese tea house, which uses shadows and light to create a very deep atmosphere. If you'd like to go deeper on the Japanese aesthetic of shadows, I'm a big fan of the book In Praise of Shadows by the novelist Junichiro Tanizaki. Here are a few inspirational quotes from the book showing the beauty of the dark. Were it not for shadows, there would be no beauty. Find beauty not only in the thing itself, but in the pattern of the shadows, the light and dark which that thing provides. that gathers behind the crossbeam, around the flower vase, beneath the shelves. Though we know perfectly well it is mere shadow, we are overcome with the feeling that in this small corner of the atmosphere there reigns complete and utter silence, that here in the darkness immutable tranquility holds sway. that we have become utterly insensitive to the evils of excessive illumination. Isn't it better, really, to leave things only hinted at? 